Aloha YouTube. This is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, decentralized finance, hit me up for the Crypto Roots Mentorship. If you got bigger bread like 10k plus, hit me up for the Platinum Mentorship. You can email Crypto Roots at Proton Mail. If you need a decentralized website, domain and hosting I got you and if you need an ethereum domain for your wallet I got you and if you need a multi-sig wallet for your family or business account I got you so the memes are heavy man memes 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 ever since I've been in this crypto game there's been I mean what is cryptocurrency without the memes like I'm telling you like uh, everybody's sitting behind a computer but the memes are like what brings it to life. Like, you know, they're like an archetype. It's just like what everybody's subconscious like brought to life. And uh, it, it makes it really worth it. Like it, I, <laughs> memes just make all the hard times in this game worth it, you know? And they capture the good times too. So it, at this point in the game, if you are not following the memes, you are not getting paid. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be for real. If you are not following the memes, you are not getting paid. Wherever the memes are at, that's where the money's at. I'm telling you, right? So people working nine to five jobs, people working 40 hours a week, people still got bosses. Man, the people who are fucking with the memes, the people who are investing in the memes and following the memes and making memes are the ones actually getting paid in this crypto game, you know? So we got to kind of like break out of that box and like kind of loosen up and not, you know, not take life so seriously, you know? because uh, we've all been in this game, you know? And everybody wants the best, everybody's trying to make money, and you know, ev there's, everybody goes through hard times, right? So memes can kind of show you, or at least amplify, some of the things you weren't quite aware of, right? It'll bring attention to things you should be paying attention to. It'll kind of make fun of you. You know, if you get offended by a meme, that's, that's, that's all on you, right? That's nobody else's fault but your own, like, you know, so uh, they just bring the truth out there without necessarily verbally saying it, you know. And when people get wrecked, you know, people get upset and the salt is heavy. You know, the salt is so heavy. It's crazy. It's, you know, so um, and also means just capture how other people kind of see the crypto community. Right. Like you may not notice that you changed. But other people may <laughs> may have noticed the, your behavior, what you talk about, and there's memes that capture that as well, you know? And the, all the memes where people pretend not to be something, you know? So I could, I could keep going on and on, and you're not supposed to really explain a meme. We all know that. You get it or you don't, you know? But when you jump in this crypto game, it's a whole different level, right? It's a whole different level of memes. And there's even places... Uh, there's from if in fact if you don't have memes in your protocol if you don't have memes as part of your marketing strategy I don't trust it I don't trust it I you know because e there's even on most of these DeFi projects if you go on their Discord they all have meme competitions like straight up like meme competitions you get money donated for free if you come up with the best memes right and then. Um, even all the negative stuff that goes down in there, and all the crypto influencers, I mean, everybody is subject to being mean, even myself. In fact, my account, Elon Marley, is a meme, right? Like, so I'm part of it. I'm part of the, this meme culture and this uh, degenerate yield farming cryptocurrency uh, culture. And with the yield farming memes, man, they, they really <laughs> they really point a lot of fun of, uh, at Bitcoiners. It's crazy. It's, you know? So, um, definitely, definitely start, start thinking about creating memes. If you got a business, somehow you're going to have to put memes into your business. So one way or another, if not be the meme itself, otherwise you're going to, you're going to get salty. You're going to get left behind. And just for some reason, you're not going to be able to get that bread. Right. You know, and this is one of the best ones, how to identify a crypto scam. You know, when, when it goes up and you have it, it's legit. But if it goes down and you don't have it, it's it's not legit. As long as it goes down, it's not legit. And, you know, some of these memes just really, like, point out the uh, the obvious or the truth, you know? So, um, also, I want to go over some of, of the best meme coins. Because now some of the memes are actually tokens, right? Actually real tokens. And uh, we'll go over... Um, let me see one second. I don't know why my browser's not popping up. There you go. There you go. So Garlic Coin 
uh, is my, my favorite, favorite meme currency, cryptocurrency. It's hella cheap, but I still believe in it long term. I really do believe in it, so check out Garlic Coin. Uh, another meme coin is Dogecoin. That's one of the biggest meme coins there is, there is out there in the world. Dogecoin, all day, every day, I'm about the Doge, right? And last but not least, meme coin. Like, meme coin took off, bro. This shit really took off for farming non-fungible tokens. It started off as a joke. Most of these all started off as a joke. For some, for some reason, they got taken seriously and development was done and they have their own blockchain or, you know, their own product and, like, they real have, have real use case value. Plus, they got all the memes to back it up. So memes are the gold right now. Memes are the gold. That's where the money's at, is in the memes. And if you follow the memes, you follow the money, you know? And and you have a good time doing I have a great time. I have a fun time being in this crypto game. There's a lot of salt going around, but at the end of the day, I'm in it for the memes, I'm in it for the money, and uh, I have a good time uh, enjoying both. Much love, take care, hit me up for the mentorship, peace.